Hey there, Papa's Posse. Don't forget about that QR code. Take it to my eBay, YouTube, and Instagram page. Welcome back to the channel there, Papa's Posse. Once again, it's time for Papa's comic books, coffee, and more. Now, today we have Duck and His Friends, a little golden book by K.B. Jackson and Richard Scarry. Copyright, you ready for this? 1949. All right, don't forget now, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and leave me a comment, okay? Let's see what's going on here. Duck and His Friends. Now Jack Rabbit and Duck and Mouse went everywhere together, and they were the best of friends, and not one of the three liked the water. If it only looked like rain, Wiz and Mouse opened his umbrella. One drop of water and zip, out came Jack Rabbit's raincoat and boots. And Duck, who should like rain and puddles and even the big duck pond, liked the water much less than Mouse and Jack Rabbit put together. One bright and sunny day, the three friends went for a picnic out on the meadow. They all sat down and ate and sang and laughed and told all the funny stories they knew. After the sun went down and everything was packed away, the three friends started home. They came to Duck's house first. He promptly went to bed and was soon sound asleep. It was a warm night with a full moon, and Jack Rabbit and Mouse were not sleepy. They, too, they took the long way home and went all around the pond, talking over the delightful day they had had. Duck is a fine fellow, said Mouse. I never did see Duck in the water, though, murmured Jack Rabbit, twitching his nose. Not that I blame him a bit, Mouse nodded, nor I, he said. But, of course, it's different with ducks. A duck really is supposed to swim. And all the other ducks think he's a fraidy cat. I wish that duck did like to swim, sighed Jack Rabbit. We ought to do something. And the two friends thought and thought, I think I know a way. Mouse cried at last. He whispered a daring plan into Jack Rabbit's ear. I can't do that, Jack Rabbit said. And he shivered and shook his head. Why not? Duck is our friend, said Mouse. We must help make duck out of, we must help make a duck out of him. He whispered some more, and at last Jack Rabbit agreed. All that night, Jack Rabbit and Mouse worked. They sawed logs and hammered nails and tied ropes and hurried about. Just as the sun came up, their work was done. Jack Rabbit and Mouse had built a beautiful raft with three fine seats and two oars for paddling. Now, cried Jack Rabbit, Come to my house for a quick breakfast. Mouse and Jack Rabbit made themselves pancakes and ate them with honey. And once they had eaten, they felt brave and ready for anything. They hurried, they hurried arm in arm back to the beach. And now, squeaked Mouse, to get the raft launched. They pushed, they pulled, and before long, the raft was floating on the water of Duck Pond. Mouse put the oars on the raft, took a deep breath, and hopped and bored himself. Jack Rabbit leaped gingerly into the air and came down quite safely in the middle of the raft. Now to wake up Duck, said Jack Rabbit to Mouse. As soon as the raft stopped rocking, the two friends picked up an oar and paddled toward the, ru the rushes where Jack lived, where Duck lived. It was still early morning. Not a duck was yet awake. Hello, duck, shouted Jack Rabbit as loudly as he could. Duck came waddling out of his house, still in his nightcap. He blinked and could not believe his eyes when he saw his two friends. What in the world, he quacked. It's a raft, squeaked Mouse. We built it. The mouse and Jack Rabbit both together called, Come for a sail with us, duck. It's capital fun. Well, uh... Duck said, backing away, haven't dressed yet. 
Haven't had breakfast. Haven't made my bed. Dozens of things to do. Mouse called gaily. Just leave your bed. Leave all your housework. You don't need to dress. Come as you are, and we'll have breakfast out on the island. But Duck kept backing away from the water. Oh, do come, Duck, shouted Jack Rabbit. Duck backed into a thick growth of reeds. No, he said stubbornly. At that, Jack Rabbit was so angry that he dropped his oar and hopped high in the air. He came down on the raft with such a thump that the raft overturned. He and Mouse and the oars were in the water. Help, squeaked Mouse. I can't swim. And Jack Rabbit squealed, nor can I. Oh, I help. I need help. Duck didn't like the water any better than before, but there was... But there he was, safe on shore, and there were his two best friends struggling in the water. It didn't take Duck long to make up his mind. He dashed into the pond and paddled straight out. He plucked the spluttering mouse out of the water and sat him safely on the raft. Mouse watched shivering while Duck helped Jackrabbit aboard too. Then Mouse squeaked, the oars, Duck, save the oars. Duck paddled off for the oars. And just as he did, all the other ducks came splashing into the pond for their morning swim. They saw a duck swimming along just as if he had been doing it every day of his life. Look at duck in the water, they quacked at the top of their lungs. Look at him. He's swimming. Why, so am I, cried duck, as surprised. So I am, as surprised as he could be. Duck swam up and down and even ducked under the water just for the fun of it and came up with a frog in his bill. All the other ducks watching admirably. And Mouse and Jackrabbit were so happy that they never even noticed how wet they were. They smiled at each other, very proud of their plan. Duck is a fine fellow, murmured Mouse. Jackrabbit agreed heartily. A fine, brave, fun-loving fellow, he said, as Duck swam up to his two good friends. And what's more, he can swim better than any other duck on the pond. All righty. Well, that was Duck and His Friends, a little golden book from copyright 1949. I hope you enjoyed that little reading. Now, don't forget, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and leave me a comment, okay? And as Papa, Duck, Mouse, and Jack Rabbit always say, That was easy. Until next time, Papa is out. <laughs>